Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Ariel, and today we're going to do a floor flow. This 15 minute comprehensive floor flow is for anyone who still wants to get a good stretch without doing a standing practice. It is really good for staying open and keeping your spirits up while injured. Make sure you have a strap and a cushion and let's begin. So this is the practice I designed for myself when I had an injury to my heel many years ago. It can also just be for those of you who want just a really good quick stretch. I'm going to begin lying down and just let your hands rest on your belly and start to connect to your breath. Finding your ujjayi breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And if you are injured, really just acknowledging the person on the mat right now. And sending nourishing breath to the part of the body that's injured. And of course, if you're just here for a good stretch, a quick stretch, then sending nourishing breath to the body itself. And then on the inhale, let's go ahead and extend both arms behind you and the feet away from you. Exhale, bring the right knee into the chest. And if that knee is injured, just 90 degrees, otherwise all the way in. Inhale, extend both arms and both legs away. Exhale, left knee in as far as it can go. And again, inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Now, inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. And just interlace the fingers around that hamstring. Good. From here, exhale, extend the leg to the sky. Inhale, bend the knee. And exhale, extend. Inhale, bend the knee. And exhale, extend. Now you can do this with a strap as well. Stay here three more breaths and see if the toes can come towards the forehead. And then take a hold of both sides of the strap or a rolled towel or blanket in the right hand and let the left hand left up. Rest on the left quad. If you do have a wrist injury, just do this without holding on to the leg. And you can even rest a block underneath that right foot. All right, two more breaths. Really feel the whole left side of the body rest into the earth. And of course, if you don't need a strap, you can hold on to the foot, go ahead and do so. And now inhale, bring it back up to the sky. And exhale, take a hold of the strap and bring this over now to the left. Holding on to both sides of the strap to the left, extend the right arm and gaze to the right fingertips. And again, you don't need to hold on to it at all. Both legs as straight as possible. Of course, go ahead and honor whatever that injury needs from you. And then inhale, bring this back up to the sky. And exhale, bend the left knee. So you plant that left foot on the ground, bend the right knee. Remove the strap. Good, just taking some circles in the right hip joint. And of course, that right knee can be as open as the knee will allow. 
and go in the other direction. And now bring it into a figure four. So if you have a knee injury, you're gonna be very gentle here. If you have an ankle injury, hover the foot off the ground. If you have no injury, you can give that knee a little press. You can even interlace the fingers around the left hamstring or even the left shin, pressing both shoulders into the earth and squaring off the hips and coming back into your breath. What a nice hip stretch. Good, and then inhale, go ahead and extend the left leg to the earth and extend the right leg to the earth. Extend the arms up and back. Exhale, bring the left knee into the chest and now interlace the fingers around the left hamstring or even place that strap around the foot. Go ahead and exhale, extend the leg to the sky. And again, inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, bend the knee. And exhale, extend the leg. Stay here on one. Stay here on two. Stay here on three. Keep bringing those toes a little closer to the forehead. And on five. Go ahead and take a hold of both sides of the strap with the left hand and placing the right hand on the right quad, bring the left leg out to the left and stay here. Om one. Om two. Om three. Remember that this is not about pushing the body but just really relaxing into the stretch, giving the body a chance to open. Usually when we're injured, we are contracting somewhere, squeezing somewhere, protecting somewhere. Inhale, bring the leg up to the sky and now change your grip. Taking the strap in the right hand, bring the left leg across the body. And remember, you can just let those toes come to the ground and you don't have to hold on to anything with that right hand. IT band stretch. I found when I was injured that I got sciatica and all these poses stretching the outer side of the body was really good for me. And so was Sphinx pose and Cobra, which we'll do in a moment, and figure four. Good. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, bend the right knee, plant the right foot on the ground and bend the left knee sliding the strap off of the left foot. Just take a hold of the left knee and make some circles. And I'm modifying this right now. I'm letting my knee stay open in case you can't completely bend the knee and then you can go in the other direction. Good, and then bring it across to figure four. Again, you're not gonna press on that knee if it's injured and you can also take weight off of the ankle. If you're not injured, go ahead and go for the full pose, interlacing your fingers around the right hamstring or even the right shin. And really make sure that you're not struggling if you're coming to a deeper variation. Remember, you can do this pose without any hands in case you're injured there. Good, and then go ahead and bring both legs back down to the earth. And now inhale, extend the arms up and bend the elbows, cactus arms. Good, pull those shoulder blades underneath you. And now bring the right foot into a tree pose, either down by the ankle by the knee, 
or if you want to use the right hand, you can bring it even higher. Stay here, shut the eyes. Press that right knee down if you can and pull the belly in. Good, now lift the right knee and just bring the shin parallel to the earth. You can kind of come out of it a bit or that knee is right in line with its hip. Interlace the fingers behind your head. You don't even have to touch your head with them. Inhale, lift the chest and the left foot off the ground, twist to the right. Come back down, twist to the right. Come back down, twist to the right, come back down, twist to the right, come back down, and twist to the right. Good. And stretch everything to the ground. Extend the arms. Bring the arms into cactus arms, and now bring the left foot into your tree pose. Good, and then lift the left knee, and if you can, shin parallel to the earth knee right over its hip. You can always open it up a little bit, and just prop the head with the fingertips, lift the chest, lift the right foot so it hovers. Exhale, cross into a twist, inhale, come down. Exhale, cross into a twist, inhale, come down. Exhale, cross into a twist, inhale, come down. Exhale, cross into a twist. Inhale, come down. Exhale, cross into a twist. Good, come on down. Let that left leg, I'm sorry, right leg rest. And now reach the right arm behind you. And as you roll to the right, catch the left foot. So this is only for people who don't have an ankle or a knee injury. Lie onto your belly extending that right arm behind you and come into your quad stretch here and let's switch sides so now the left hand extends you can roll onto the left side a little bit catching the right foot and then gently come on to the belly here And then release and just stack yourself up onto your forearm, setting up for Sphinx Pose. I loved doing this when I was injured. Just letting your feet rest and now pull the shoulder blades down the back, lift the heart. So getting a nice little back bend in. And you can stay here if you want to take it a little deeper. Now stack the hands under the shoulders and come on up to your cobra or even a modified up dog. And lie down on the belly. Good. And just swing the left knee out, making a pillow with your hands and flex the foot into half frog. Just two breaths here, letting your head rest. Push that left hip down. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Now resting on your left cheek and bending the right knee in line with its hip and flexing the right foot, half frog. Good, and then straighten that out. Bring your hands under your shoulders, gently press yourself up to all fours or however you want to get up to seated. 
I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of your day. I hope that this practice is helping you on the path to healing or just feeling open. Namaste. See you next time on the map. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to stay informed of new content. Let me know what practice you would like next in the comments below.